This playthrough is rated T for teen. Gotta keep one step ahead of the bread line, one swing ahead of the sword. I steal only what I can't afford. That's everything. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Well, we're back here with another episode of Siberia 3. In the last episode, we finally ran back into the Yukuls, and I apparently used the same Yukuls from way back in the second um, Siberia. And now, uh, well, we've got to help them out once again, but they're also helping us out too. Uh, we helped them clear their uh, water of impurity so the ostriches won't just, you know, stupidly drink it to death. Which, I mean, they don't know better, right? They're just animals. But now we need uh, we need them to get onwards and beyond. And we also need to get this passport that we got from earlier. So let's look at the inventory. Well, not the passport. The uh, I think it's just the pass. But we need it to be stamped to uh, um, make it useful. Apparently, I need to have the official Valzenbor stamp on this for it to be accepted as official. Yes. So we need to basically create forgeries to get past to the next location. So, well, that's not above what Kate... Miss Kate Walk has done before. Catastrophe with ostrich water mist close. Thank you, Miss Catwalk. Or Catwalk is how they pronounce it. All right, if you call those ostriches, sure. But anyway, hello. Let's... Oh, hello. Hello. What odd clothes you're wearing there, young lady? What about your clothes? What about the Yukul's clothes? Duk, duk. Oh, well. Very I can insightful. Go inside this yurt. Why not? It's against the law. Oh. Are we just going to go into someone's yurt? Isn't that basically their house? That's a dick move, Kate Walker. Let's go steal some stuff. Maybe we can find something in here. I don't know. Why are we doing this? I have no clue. Oh, no. Nope. I thought the coloration on that made it look like there was something there. What the heck is this? Candles? What the he? Okay, I guess I'm stealing some poor Yugle's candles. Why not? Oh, well, we did save them, so I guess. If only I had the time to take a little nap. Well, they have to pay the hero tax, I guess. What a pretty pattern. Yeah, well, I guess it's not important enough for me to look at it. But other than just, well, I mean, look at it, but not do anything more with it. So, okay, apparently we came here to steal someone's candles. Yeah, so we're stealing candles, causing forgeries, saving, saving locals, local yokels, and uh, well, just a uh, everyday Kate Walker. This is not so good. Authorities become hostile. Yeah, they're not treating you as well. Teaching sacred lands of ostriches very difficult in these conditions. Well, you don't have Kirk, uh, Kirk with you too, so there's that. So that's the way out. That? The yokel craftsmen must make these statuettes by the dozen. By by the dozen. Uh, I was going to make a joke about like Gaston or something like that, but eating eggs by the dust. I don't know. Never mind. Forget I said anything. No, no. Oh, it's just. What odd clothes you're wearing okay. there, young it's lady? Just, what I clicked on basically took me all the way this back there. This kid walk will find everything that she seek here. That voice actor sounds familiar. The Yukul craftsman must make these statuettes no. by the dozen. Okay, the way it just points the circles, it kind of like uh, the click on boxes. Is uh, it, it like goes in between certain, like you know, hit hides Game behind the right. foreground or whatever. And so I'm clicking on stuff I've already clicked on before, so I'll probably skip clicking on most of these people. I'm sure that midget is up to something. Uh, they're all, I mean, technically they're not midgets, and two, they're all things went better with the Yugles before, that's for sure. But there's more than one anyway, so I guess stature wise, I guess you could call them, the, although I think they're slightly high, uh, taller than. Midgets or dwarfs or I think, that, I think that's the appropriate. When you get into Valsambor, drop by my tavern. It's got the best food in town. I think that's the more appropriate one. I think if I remember correctly, it's, it's preferred to call them dwarves. Which I, I would too. What I mean, I think. Amazing jumble. Not at all like New York markets. Ew. Uh, I would like to be called a fancy creature, like an elf or a dwarf. So why not, right? But. Uh, I think that's all I can talk to. Now I can. I have to go to that one punch station. Yeah, I wonder. What, what these, I thought there were some people over here. Things went better with oh. the Yugles before. That's for sure. Those people just walked back and forth. Okay, so I guess we've checked everything here. So let's just go to the the front and try to see if we can figure out a way to get this. Is there anything over here? No. Okay, just making sure. 
Now we have to find a way to get this passport punched so we can uh, get on the Balsabor so we can get Kurt's um, prosthetic. So. I thought they said it was over the the punch was like near the uh, near the exit or whatever, but I didn't see it because wasn't it supposed to actually be in the in the the camp area there? Or? Well, well, maybe it's over here. I don't know. Let's look around first before we question. Great things. ostriches always need lots of attention. Lots, lots. Yeah, sounds like a cat almost. Well, actually, they don't want attention yet. You you, know, you have to follow their rules. Look back. Hmm. They're very intriguing. Yes. Yeah, let's uh, look around before we try to find that one uh, place, the office. Or to love Miss Catwalk. Yeah, they don't call me now. They don't just call me Kate Walker. Now they call me Miss Cat Kate Walk. Yeah, whatever. So good. I mean, might as well be calling me Savior at this point because of how they treated me in the last episode. Jeez, it's a little over the top, dudes. What's this? A squid lying in a puddle of ink. Poor creature. Let's put it in our inventory. A squid lying in no, a puddle of ink. No, why can't I take it in my inventory? Poor creature. Yeah. Mm. I don't know what the point of that was, other than I guess squids are near this area, I guess. Let's see anything over here? No. Nope. But I did see that uh, camera. C cinematic, I guess is what you'd call it. So that's the famous lake that won't freeze anymore. Hmm. So it won't freeze, maybe, uh, maybe, uh, um,. Oh, what's that when, uh, like, a not a hot spring, like, um, you know how in some places under, under certain rocks, there's like, you know, uh, warm waters, like maybe volcanic activity or something like that, that sometimes will burst out of the ground that kind of like the geysers at Yellowstone, that type of situation. I wonder if that's what happened here or it could have been, could have been because of Valsambor or something like that. Who knows? Like maybe them polluting the river or something like that caused it to to warm up it's hard to say it could just be like like kate walker said in the last episode global warming perhaps is what caused it because it is per clinic i hope kirk is okay up there well i don't know I, I guess they wouldn't kill him but although they could and no one would know any better but um that has been proven that the uh, water flow or the ice caps have been melting and water has sli slightly been increasing in the world today. So that's not too not too surprising to see in this game that uh the once what was cabin, son, let's get fine. that something what was once always frozen is now like can't hold uh, freezing temperatures anymore now, unless you're directly at the north or south pole. You know. Great ostriches always okay, need lots of attention. Lots, lots. I should just stop talking to all of them because they're really not showing much in the way of unique dialogue. Okay, this must be the, the stop. house. You may not pass. Uh, may I ask why not? Miss, as the inopportune loitering of the Yukal nomads in town was proving to be disturbing the tranquility of the inhabitants, <gasps> Mayor Bulakin has ordered access to Valsambor to henceforth be restricted to those presenting a duly stamped pass, which confers the authorization to access said town. All right, Dr. Robotnik. I mean, uh, <laughs> maybe I went a little overboard there, but uh, yeah, that's actually the voice for Dr. Robotnik. I, th I, I thought I recognized his voice. Did you understand anything I just said? Um, I think it's Dr. Robotnik from the Sonic Boom car uh, car uh, cartoon. I think Sonic X as well. Uh, he might have done some of the video games. As well. I think he's done a vehicle, the vehicle games past. Is everything all right, miss? Vehicle games. Video games since... I'm trying to remember. I think he did after 06. I think he started being the voice for Eggman or Robotnik Eggman or whatever. So yeah, that's where I recognized his voice from earlier. So uh, I'm not dangerous. What are you? I've got lots me to up? do, you know. So speak or leave. Your choice. <laughs> well, you can look at me all day. I bet you haven't seen someone from New York before. But uh, let's see if he has any more random dialogue. Why does he have a squid on his head? Is that a uh, the symbol for Valsambor or something like that? The squid, the Squid Kings. If you continue to refuse to answer, I'll give you a ticket. That huh. uh, sounds like some. Well, uh, that's never happened to me, but I've heard there's some policemen like that. They'll just threaten you with a ticket if you just don't cooperate. <laughs> so that wouldn't be too putting it past him. But yeah, we could always play, play some squid games, you know, with with your little thing there. Uh, Did you understand anything I just said? I think that's it. So, but and yet, no, I haven't watched. I haven't watched that show yet. So I don't know if I will. I pro maybe. I don't know. Anyway, just look at me. Look at me. Do I really look like a yukul to you? 
My dear young lady, your physiognomy is not sufficient. Only presentation of said municipal pass shall be acceptable. But... Without a pass, you shall not pass. All right, Gandalf. <laughs> well, I mean, I have the pass, I just don't have it punched. Could we still give it to him anyway? Let's see if that'll work anyway, so... The pass to the town... Oh, do you have extra <laughs> extra lines now after this? or I guess uh, let's just give him the candles. For a second, I actually thought that was dynamite for the way it was wrapped or whatever. So just give him the knife. Give him the knife. <laughs> we just stab him in the chest. Put that away this instant. Otherwise, I shall cite you for threatening a person duly imbued with authority. I was actually joking. I didn't know they actually had a line for, for threatening with the knife. <laughs> That's funny. Do not attempt to corrupt me with that trinket. That is precisely what yukos do. Huh. I actually didn't expect the game to give, like, extra dialogue for handing him everything other than the passport. Give that to the nomads. Maybe they'll get a good price for it. Hmm. And finally, let's see what candles give us. If I decide that I need to light a candle, I'll call you. I have to give the game credit. I did not expect that. <laughs> bravo, game. Bravo. This pass is not valid. It has not been stamped with a Valsenbor town stamp. Well, we got nothing else. Do I really need a pass? Indispensable. So cease arguing and keep moving. Ah, uh, well, we're going to have to trick our way into getting that pass, so let's... Oh, and apparently after talk to him, he gives us plenty of room to do stuff because he's not looking at us anymore. A checkpoint for the municipal employees. All right. See what's a, oh, is that just, just Most moving clean it? Oh. Cabin, so nuts gets fine. You have to clean the cat. Oh, is it because Yukul's drew on it or something? Or I guess. Oh no, no, just never mind. Those are uh, propaganda posters. But I don't know. Maybe they maybe they got dirt on it from the ostriches or something like that. What's that? Oh, Given the living conditions here, I can understand why the policeman's so nice. Yeah, you would uh, you would you would have a, you'd be nasty too if you had uh, rough living conditions. That's for sure. I wouldn't be the happiest of sorts, although I'm not the happiest of sorts in real life either. But, yeah. You know, what's this over here? Stamps, but not one is the right shape, of course. How do you know what the right shape is? Oh yeah, the camera was went a little w weird on me. So. so Nothing one. useful here. Then why is it an option to click on it? A stamp. Looks like something's missing, though. Oh, what's missing then? Well, apparently something. So let's take a look at this. So, all right. So what's this? It probably is missing the press or a button press or whatever it is. What's that do? Oh, we can move it. Okay, or we can open it. It's probably to put our thing in. Let's see what this is. A sponge, huh? Probably for the ink or something like that. Oh, and that one you can move back and forth. Okay, what's this? Only the stamp is missing. How practical. Of course it is. What does that do? Is it just opens opens whatever goes through there, I guess? Only the stamp is missing. How practical. Let me look up at the top name. No, it won't. That's actually stamping and whatnot, so okay. I can't, uh, looks like it won't let me. I guess that was only there to, like, oops. I think that was only there just to get the stamp pad specifically from this, so. Uh, let's see what the, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to click out of it. Let's see what happens if I uh, go to the item. Screen. Okay, nothing. Nothing highlights. Actually, let's uh, observe some stuff over here. So we got got the stamp part. Over time, the stamp got imprinted into the leather. It looks like the Valsenbor stamp. Oh, that's the, the squid. So the Valsenbor stamp is the squid thingy. Gotcha. No, just the front part. Okay. And then let's take a look at the sponge. 
Spike and Ink. sponge. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> okay, so let's uh, look back on that and see if there's a item thing appears if we. Uh, I guess that's how it's supposed to work, but then we it won't let us put the I think we just have to find Doesn't something work. But it said ink there. Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Gotcha. Yep, let's back up. Now that I, now that I know better. Yeah, I was thinking for a second I was like, hmm. Well it said something about ink. I was like, okay, we've seen something with ink before, so I didn't think the solution was just like right here. I assumed we had to go back to some spot to uh, find it, so uh, so I need the, I think I need to use the furnace too, if I think in this case, but first let's get, let's re ink that sponge really quick. Actually, probably, that's probably the only thing I need to do is just re-ink the sponge. So yeah, now we can highlight the uh, thing there from the dead squid or almost dead squid. I'm not sure. They did say it was a squid, right? Sponge soaked in ink. So we'll see. And then, well, no, I'd say it's a stamp. I don't need a seal. So yeah, never mind. So I'm fine. I was thinking I needed another, another solution or something else to finish it. But no, I think I've got everything I need now. Unless I have to do something to fix the uh, the pass. Well, the fact that they let me put the pass still on there, though, so... All oh, right. I don't know if I actually need to close that down or not. Oops. Move that a bit. And the sponge is on there, so... But I'm not sure if I need to... I guess I need to have that down. Oops. The... <laughs> Game had made the mouse disappear again. I don't know why it does that. Every once in a while, like it'll just the mouse will disappear, and I'll have to like. Only the stamp is missing. How practical. Hmm. I can't remove. I was thinking maybe I had to do something like. Um, because he said the stamp's missing, but we've got maybe what I'm supposed to do. Let me. Uh, can I even? Oh, I don't actually. The, I don't think the game will let me remove. No, it won't even let me remove this, so never mind. I guess I did what I needed to do for this. So let me, uh... Let's see, can't even go all the way down. I feel like what I have to do is... Okay, so now I, I do have to actually use the, uh... Um, that furnace back in there. Although I don't remember seeing a specific spot to put to use it. So let, let's see what happens. Let's go back and find out. Maybe there's something I missed when I was in there, so. Yeah, I guess closing it did, did cut off for me removing the thing, so I didn't notice that maybe that was a thing, so. All right, let's go back inside. Sorry for making this one take forever to finish. <laughs> I probably could have cut to when I uh, stopped messing with the controls to figure out what I needed to do, but definitely not my most proudest moment in the series, so. All right, let's go back to the furnace, see if I can interact with that. Kate, Kate, stop! Oh my, I have to fight the controls! Uh, oh, oh wh where's that taking me? Hello. You look muck, Miss Kate. Need something from Forge? Well, yes, I do. I need a stamp that has the same shape as the Valsambor seal and that I can use with the press at the camp gate. Complicated. Need model. Tuk tuk. You have that, Miss Gatewalk? Yep, but uh, let's see what other. What What if we give him everything else? No. Miss Gatewalk crazy. Not make that. Never. Yeah, only Hans could make that. And I assume Hans is dead or living with the mammoths at this point. Whatever. Bad junk, that. <laughs> I don't want to give you bad junk, I guess. Bad junk, that. Oh, so not every line of dialogue has something unique. That's fine. I didn't expect that, but bad junk, that. Okay, you're probably gonna say that for the rest of the stuff. So, 
But I'm gonna check anyway. I must. Bed the junk then. Okay, fine. Don't give me any. You need dialogue. Just stop it. Complicated. Complicated. Smith also need wax for mold. Which I've got that, which is the. Does he say anything different if I give him the. Oh, it's not even. Yeah, it's not. Oh, there it is. Okay. Mis what? Oh, okay. Whoops. Do you know where I can find wax? Miss Kate Walk. Look everywhere. So must find it to finish. Well, the game hid the mouse again for me. Smith also need wax for mold. Alright, let's uh, try that again. Oh, he did. Okay, that like screws up the game when I do that or something like that. So there we go. Yeah, see now it removed the removed the amount. Skid walk, pretty much much junk for Smith. Yeah, now I can't uh, see the mouse. I don't know if you can see viewers, but the mouse has disappeared again. So I can't even by clicking or messing it up. I can't. Give me lots of junk, or Smith cannot work with Forge. Do you know where I can find wax? Uh, like this episode is the whole. This is what one of the major problems of the games are: is the mouse mouse button disappearing and everything like that. And then when I try to get unique responses, it messes up the the thing. So let's just put the candle on it and not mess with it anymore. I don't want to. Good junk. Step ready in not long time. All right, we've got the stamp now, so let's head back to there. So, I'll probably make this episode a little bit longer to make up for me, like, messing with that puzzle longer than I should have. Yeah, that was ridiculous, and half of it was me messing with the controls to try and get it to work properly. Jeez. I'm sorry if I'm still harping on that. That's just that's just poor design. I'm like, who, who uh, tested this game? Seriously. I hope the I hope the next game is that they proved upon it, because there is a fourth game coming out. I don't know when it's supposed to release though, but as of the time of the recording of this episode, it is not released. The idea was actually to have this game beat on my regular schedule by the time that came out to see if if it was worth doing. So, but anyway, let's uh let's see let's see if we can put the stamp in or not. No. I wonder if I have to uh, raise it first. No, oh, it's already raised. Maybe if I lower it first, like I did before. Okay, now I can. Impossible. Okay, she's just gonna say that for everything. Oh yeah, I forgot to actually look at the thing. So let's do that really quick. This logo is exactly like the Valzenbor stamp. It's like the Squid King himself. Okay. Okay, let's actually put that. Oh, now the <laughs> the mouse disappeared again when I did that. Oh, okay, it's just. I okay. forgot to ink the stamp. Oh, okay. Whoops. It's uh. I have to find a way to attach the stamp, or it'll fall out again. I thought uh. I thought you could grip it with that uh. With uh, pressing that down, does that not count? Only the stamp is missing. How practical. Hmm. Try that again. Unless there's something else I'm missing. I don't think so. Isn't that supposed to... I forgot to... to ink the stamp. Oh, I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to ink it before doing that. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so let's... I'm just doing this in a messed up order. I'm just supposed to... Because I guess you're supposed to ink it before you uh, grip it or something like that, so... It's just figuring out the pattern of where it goes, so. So if we, now if we go back up, now we can punch it. Okay, now it's inked. Now we can remove it. And then let's put the, uh, do we have to actually place the, <sighs> the game removed the mouse cursor again. 
Stop fighting me. Why? What have I done to you? I think, and I have the latest version of this game too, so it's not like I have like a old like 2017 version of this game. It, I have, well, actually, I don't even know how well it's patched if it is patched at all. But uh, it's it's definitely it's definitely a, a, a I've had less games that have frustration than that. But I wonder if I have to put I assume I have to put the pass down. It doesn't work. That's what I thought. Just to have a flat surface to put it on. And then close it so it doesn't move all over the place. Oops. And then back so we can raise the. Uh... Oh, it is raised. Never mind. I, I thought I wasn't raised. Uh, no, it's already locked in place. Oh, okay, never mind. I just have to lower it. Yep, there we go. It's on there. So now, a puzzle that should have taken only five seconds because of the controls and everything. It took like, tw like 20 minutes or something stupid like that. <laughs> uh, oh. Once again, I have to back up and, and fix the... Uh, mouse controls so. or make it appear anyway there we go we got the pass finally why do I feel like that's not going to be the end of our troubles when it comes to like the controls and everything hello Miss Walker very happy to finally catch up with you Mr. Canton what on earth do you want to take you back home whether you like it or not. Come on, give me your hands, please. Uh, resist, obey. <laughs> Resistance is futile. Uh, obey, resist. I mean, he doesn't look like that tough of a guy. Although, Kate's not... Did you understand anything that I asked you? But, then again, Kate doesn't really spark myself as a fighter. I don't think she's ever, at any point in the game, has ever fought off anyone. So she's supposed to be... You know, she's a puzzle adventurer type, so she's supposed to solve stuff via... Come on, do like I said, please. You know, she's supposed to solve stuff with, with her mind and not not physicalities. Though, though it's not like Nick Canton is, is the, the top on, a, on any f uh, physical bodies list. Well, Miss Walker? <laughs> Too bad they didn't get the original voice actor to voice Nick in the original game. But they probably it probably either got out of voice acting and perhaps passed away or, or was like, eh, that's I don't care, that's fine. Did you understand anything that I asked okay. you? Let's uh let's try to negotiate. Perhaps he's a reasonable man. Mr. Canton, I don't know how much the people who hired you promised for delivering me to them. But if it's only a question of money, maybe Stop right there, Miss Walker. You're being a tad insulting. Listen, my professional integrity has never been in doubt in over twenty years of work. Come on! Wrists out! Mr. Marson? Finally! I have her! Yes, she is safe and sound. I have Miss Walker under control. I'll keep you informed of our progress. It'll take a day or two at most. I suppose there are a few procedural obstacles to overcome before we can leave the country. Listen, all these things I'm accused of are completely untrue. Hans's murder, embezzlement, it's nonsense. And while we're wasting time here, I can't help the Yukels. And believe me, they really need it. I am not your enemy, Miss Walker. If you haven't done anything like you say, it's in your interest to go back and defend yourself in court. There's nothing left for you to do here anyway. Not everyone here is your friend in these parts, I'm afraid. And you are? Okay, so let's see what our mind our mind thinks about this. This Canton isn't the brightest bulb. If I can get him to believe I'm cooperating, I'll be able to sidetrack him and escape. Well, Miss Walker? Let's see what Call for Help does. If I scream loud enough, maybe the Yukels will hear me and come and help. It's sure worth a try. Did, and did you notice that during your conversation there, there was some weird... Do like I said, please. There was like some weird audio, like, stuff with her mic or something that sounded like it was slightly different. So I don't know if that was a re-recording or if it was just the game messing up or something like that. I don't know. It just sounded weird. Did you she... understand anything that I asked you? Okay. Um, hmm. I mean, either way it gets us out of here. It's just, what what is the scene call for? So, 
Well, uh, there is the police officer out there, but anyway, let's just train well, Canton. Well, Miss Walker. Well, all right, Mr. Canton. You win. I'm glad you're finally being reasonable, Miss Walker. Now we just need to wait for the representative of the regional military authorities for the administrative procedures. I don't think it'll take long to get our papers, so we can leave this place then. How long do we have to wait? I've been through a lot over the last few months, you know. I'm recuperating. I'm still a bit weak. Well, uh, it could take a few hours at the outside. Would you mind bringing me a glass of water? I... I don't feel too well. I feel a bit dizzy. I'd have to leave you here in the meantime. I'm not sure that... Please, Mr. Canton. I really think I'm going to faint. Don't worry, Miss Walker. I'll see what I can do. But don't move. Quick. I have to get free and get out of here while Canton is busy. Alright, let's see what we can do. Useless. <laughs> okay, then why was it clickable? That's no use to me. Well, let's see what we got here. Got that bottle over there. Got the stamps. Let's see. As far as I'm aware, there's no timer. It's just... Just wait until... I guess click that bottle is the only other thing I can see. Oh, we got the stamp press. It's not going to help me this time. Oh, yeah. I can't rip that thing off the off its hinges. And... Yeah, the only thing that actually had the interactive symbol outside the eye. Are we just going to lean against it? Wait, was there something fiery in that? Oh, is it just, or is that just dust? What? Useless. Okay, that was weird. It didn't break. God, I need to find something else. Oh, that's okay. Let's see what this lamp does. Are we gonna try to break the bulb or something like that? Didn't they? Didn't he put a zip tie in our hands though? Aren't those kind of difficult to cut? Like unless you really focus on it. Okay, whatever. <laughs> it's game mechanics, so let's just let's just trust that that's the, how that's gonna work. Okay, can I actually? Inter oh, okay, I was about to say it wasn't letting me interact with it. So, yeah, this is the most daring, epic save yourself from the the stupid detective music and uh, scene. I don't know. It just seems kind of a bit like <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what the Grab the glass. Don't cut your hand, Kate Walker. Miss Kate Walker. So what would happen if I grabbed the others? Would it just been like, uh, not, not close enough or whatever? Apparently she got really lucky with that bottle. Like it smashed just sharp enough to cut through that zip tie. Oops. The uh, camera keeps. Free at last. All right, let's get out of here before Canton comes back. All right, let's get out of here. So long, sucker! Wait. I assume if you just yell, he has to go out here to um, talk to them or because they're distracting him or something like that. I don't know. I guess I could have clicked on it while he was talking to hear them better, but uh, oh well. Can you just go to the... There is a river not too... not Or the lake not too far by. You could just grab the water there, but whatever. You should leave quickly, Miss Kate Walk. Oh, you all know better, Miss huh? Kate Walk, go to Valsambor. All right, let's get out of here then. I don't know if there's extra dialogue, but let's give this guy the papers. I wonder what he would have said if we'd given the sponge or the uh, stamp pad. Now I kind of wish I had gone back to check. Oh, the pass to the town.
Miss Walker. No, wait. I have an arrest warrant for this woman. Arrest her. Immediately, you hear? Well, that was a uh, exciting ish and like kind of like not as epic as it should have been, especially when the camera didn't didn't like fade out when it was supposed to. Like so <laughs> the camera was just moving around there, so great. Anyway, it looks like we finally got out of the ways of Nick. I don't know if we'll run across him at, again. We probably will. But we found our way to Valsenbor. Will we be able to get through this village to find the prosthetic to say, uh, get Kirk out of there? Find out next time in the next episode of Siberia 3. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.